So today we'll be we continue in from verse fourteen. First, I'll maybe reread the, the verse and I'll jump into the Solomon text. O Queen of Vrindavan, Ever since some manjari named Rupa filled my eyes with the light in Vrajabhumi, I have strongly desired to see the red lack on your lotus feet. So I go back a few lines in the commentary. Shivarati Rupa Manjari is the personification of the mellow servants, and she is the leader of all the maid servants of Shivarati. She has a most intimate relation. Uh, she has a most intimate friendship with Tulasi Manjari. In his Sva Sa, uh, Sankalpa Raksha Stotra, Sri Dasa Goswami shows the desire to learn expertise in all kinds of devotional service. from the eight girlfriends of Sri Radhika. But the prayers themselves particularly the prayers for the divine couple's confidential service are personally directed <laughs> to Shinrati Rupa Manjari's lotus feelings. O oh, Saki Rupa Manjari, when the divine couple completes their erotic battle in Cupid's assembly. Their bodies meet and sleep. When will I, on their order, quickly approach them. And eagerly serve them by moving a fan of flowers. Oh moon faced girl. When the divine couple becomes eager for lovemaking once more. On their bed of flowers, in a kunja full of hummingbees, will I be able to please them?
by blissfully preparing garlands. Kunkuma. Honey wine. And betel leaves for them. In his Prathanagiti, Srila Narottama Dasa Thakura has described how the practicing devotee <clears throat> who attains perfection in his maid servanthood. is introduced to the divine couple <coughs> by Sri Rupa Manjari. <coughs> when will my master, Lokanta Goswami, Lokana, ah, Lokana, Lokana Goswami, Take me along and submit me to Sri Rupa's lotus feet. When will that blessed moment come when Sri Rupa Manjari will look at me? <coughs> and call me this new maidservant. Quickly ordering me. Oh, Dasi, come here. Quickly, get the par paraphernalia of your service. My heart will be filled with joy when she orders me like this. And I will do my service with a pure heart. I will keep my paraphernalia for service on a jeweled plate. Fill up a golden pitcher with scented water and quickly come before Dada and Krishna. Listen. Sometimes speaking from Sadaka Deha and sometimes speaking from spiritual senses, which helps us to also feel the connection with both of them in my life. So Raghunath does those monies also constantly praying to his Guru Manjari in Sadaka Deya and in his spiritual body, in Siddha Deya, or Manjari body. I was just thinking how our Gurudev is teaching us all these details in our daily behavior with each other. Yes. He's preparing us how to be good manjaris. Mm. 
serve nicely. Take this plate, take this, you know, cup and wash your hands. <laughs> These details are the preparation for serving Radha Maha. Not only preparation, when I feel it, it can be that right now also. Yesterday we had one very nice, merciful exchange with Guru <laughs> It was so intense. He was giving profuse instructions how to be in this world, but also be in that world. Or to connect my physical form, my human activities with the spiritual, divine energy, or let's say consciousness. It's not that I can do it. I, of course, pray for it, but I can meditate on it. That was how would it explain this? And also here I feel the same instructions from Baba that how he is saying that my spiritual master opened my eyes. He opened my eyes in my spiritual uh, body and here in my Sadaka Deha. And these two are always connected. If I can feel it. If I can practice in this way, it's mercy, but also there must be a strong wish to feel it. So, yes, here we have the pictures, also we have the trays. They may not be from gold or from jewels, you know, the plates, the trays. But in my mind, I can make them. <coughs> no? They can become divine by meditation. So Guru Manjari is preparing me, all of us, for divine services. And the more I can <coughs> connect it in my heart, the more I will become conscious of my spiritual divine existence. Mm. And that is Gurudev's desire also. So when he always gives these beautiful you know, teachings, take the plate, look how you serve his ex explicitly very conscious of how we serve others. He may be speaking, but he is also watching that devotee who is serving. And something is not right, he will immediately tell us. No? So that is the Guru Manjari shining and speaking through Sadaka Deha. And the difference is only if I can feel it, if I can at that moment connect with it. Yesterday he was speaking about this. It's very uh, <coughs> explicitly, very detailed. He say how it is possible to meditate in this, you know, everyday activities how I will be, you know, I am, not in the future, but already now. If I connect with it, I am that Tasi that my Guru Manjari will introduce to Rupa Manjari, to Ananda Manjari. And they finally will introduce us as a maid servant, a new maid servant to Radha. And and he was speaking about the subtle difference. 
about not thinking it will happen in the future. It's happening now. He was speaking about his services to Radha Mohan and how every day he is living in this. Maybe you also want to share this. <laughs> because you remember more than me. <laughs> <laughs> I remember actually the Gurudev said yesterday it was really dual moment in our life to, to be in the proper time, in the proper place. <laughs> uh, he was opening his Heart and giving instructions for the bhajan. And he said we should meditate in our spiritual identity, but we should meditate on seva, specific seva, what we have. And that seva is meant for the pleasure of the Adam. And we can see here from the words, uh, f- uh, from the Naratam. Taku's verses, actually, and um, Raghunath, he is playing, I want to serve it for your pleasure, to give you pleasure in the kunja. That's the point. This is the meaning of my life, to give you pleasure. So seva which we receive from Radhika through Guru, let's say eternal seva, is something what we have to meditate on it. And then, the more we are going deeper in this meditation, the details of this seva will appear. For example, he said yesterday to prepare the bed. And we can hear Raghunath is preparing the bed. But which kind of bed? From the flowers. Okay. From which flowers? <laughs> the details. Which color of the flowers? All flowers? Or maybe petals? Or maybe buds? Sometimes petals, sometimes buds, sometimes flowers. Sometimes this color, sometimes that color. Sometimes malati, jasmine, sometimes rose, or mixed together. Depends on the mood. And how to cover it. With which material to cover? Silk, or maybe it's cold, a little bit warmer material. So many, many, many details are p- appear spontaneously if we want to satisfy someone, and if we know his desires. He likes this, but he doesn't like that. Mm. This is giving pleasure to the service to the others. To give them pleasure according to their desire, not what I think. I think that this food is very good and healthy for you. Yes, thank you very much, but I don't like it. <laughs> it's very, but this is very healthy. Yes, but I don't like it. Please give me something which, what I like. This is the service. Service mood. So the same thing is with the bed, for example, here. Mm. And other details, I don't want to speak about that, but I just give you the hint how we can meditate in this wonderful seva. And Gurudev wants that we are doing this seva in our soul, in our spiritual <coughs> identification, spiritual body. And then, because we have a sadaka, this, then we are doing similar things, or maybe not so similar, but let's say similar things. We want to prepare bed with our body, chair, sofa, double sofa, triple sofa. With this material, that material, this kind of color, that kind. But for, again for Radha Mohan's pleasure. Again, for Adam, because sometimes we think, and it's perfectly all right, 
that we have to give the pleasure to the others. And this is all right, because in that way we are not in the center of our life. But we should make one step more. I'm preparing even this room, this tea, this cup, or what else, for, again for Radha Mohan's flesh. And when Radha Mohan's are satisfied with my attention to serve, maybe it's not perfect, but my attention, then the others, most probably, will be also satisfied. Because this kind of seva I will do with consciousness of Radha Mohan, again in Sadaka way, the others are consumers of my seva. Mm. They accept that seva. But again, in the Sadaka Vesha, I'm conscious about Radha Mohan and I'm again giving them pleasure. So in that way, I'm always living in the consciousness of Radha Mohan. Mm. Very nice way is to start actually with sadaka. But also we should move a little bit further and say, okay, I'm not this body only. I'm spiritual soul. Then I'm manjari. Mm -hmm. And I want to serve Radha. When these things come together, then devotee is complete. Mm -hmm. And Gurudev, I just remember now, Gurudev said, but for that we have to accept. Mm. It was like this. Mm. <laughs> because if we accept something, it's natural that we will meditate, abs we will be absorbed about it. This is what we will accept. But if we are not accepting, how we will meditate? Except you mean to receive? No, no, to accept that this is the my. <coughs> Spiritual identity, this is my seva, mm. this is for Radha Mohan pleasure, mm. for Guru Manjari's pleasure, and others also pleasure. Mm. To accept this, I don't know how it is. It's a true, it's a true, yeah. Mm. This is a true. Because if I don't accept, I will not put all my heart and energy in that. Mm. So this is normal. I don't like to do this. So what does it mean? I don't accept it. Mm. If I don't like, I don't accept, automatically, I will not think about that. Or just superficially. But to accept something is the process of removing false ego. Without accepting, false ego will never go. And we can, again, if we cannot at least calm down our false ego. At least calm down. Then we will not be able to accept. This is... Because why I don't want to accept my seva, eternal seva, or to serve Radha Mohan? Because I still am identified strongly with my bodily consciousness of life. And whatever I'm doing, I'm doing for myself. But this is not acceptance. Mm -hmm. And then the natural result of that is that I cannot be absorbed in meditation because I didn't accept it. Acceptance is very, very important. If we want something, it's not enough only to want, but we should accept all the things which is included in that goal. The whole package. All package. Yeah. Perfect package with this track. <laughs> all package. Then dhyana or we, we call it meditation or deep thinking about this is going on. <clears throat> I don't know, is it is it little bit clearer, mm. because it's so important thing, actually. A lot of us, we have a problem of acceptance. Yeah. Really? For sure, this is the main problem. This is the main problem, because the ego, uh, not in negative only sense, ego, when we say this is short, 
words to say something. Let's say the concentration of my self-image. Yes, on myself. I'm I'm the main person in my life. <laughs> yes. It's a natural. This is natural. You know, I, and I accepted that. Very voluntary. <laughs> With pleasure. With the pleasure. <laughs> but now we have to move, understand that this is bodily consciousness. And the soul will never be satisfied with this. Mm -hmm. And especially spiritual identity cannot grow with this kind of consciousness. So I have to be at least a little bit humble to calm down my ego and say, okay, I will try to accept 20%, 30%. I work on it. No? I work on it. Yeah. I, I will try as much as I can. And immediately result will be, because I accepted 30%, 30%, let's say mathematic words, uh, I will go deeper in meditation. And it will be no any obstructions, at least for this 30%. So when we relish this, because we need realizations, when we relish this, then we will put our energy, our heart, in more acceptance. So this is the process. But without acceptance, it's very difficult. Almost impossible. I say this, almost impossible, because always material, bodily consciousness of life will pervade our consciousness. This is natural way how material nature is working. Mm -hmm. And we cannot conquer material nature with material nature. We, we need spiritual identity to be more stronger and to understand that the goal of this spiritual identity is to satisfy rather more. And this is our natural condition. And again, if we are doing outside also for their part. Mm. We are doing this kata, actually. If I'm doing this for my pleasure, it's completely bogus. Mm. It's completely bogus. But if I'm trying to understand that Radha Mohan is here and they are listening, our kata, pata, reading. So then maybe some part of me will accept it in one moment. And then our talks, my talk will be saved. They are listening. Like Sumitiji said, they are, they are here. It's not a problem in them. Vrindavan is here. So they are really listening to this, what we are doing. I couldn't imagine 10 years ago that I will talk, glorify Radhika and Mohan in Vrindavan. Wow. Mm. True. That's it's really, it's amazing. And what Gurudev said, you have to do it. And I said, I was frozen. <laughs> you have to do it. We are attached to this. <laughs> what he is doing actually. He is taking me for the hand and offering to God. This is by his ordering, order to do some seva, he is introducing me to Radhika and saying, look at this funny clumsy manjari. But she wants so he is giving this support. He is giving this. He is introducing us to Radhika. When you make a tea, need for Radhika's pleasure. And then serve devotees. So that's the simplicity of bhakti. But we make it so complicated. <laughs> because we don't accept simplicity of bhakti. Mm. 
natural. When you love someone, you always think about it. And you always want to do something. This is what. I also want to share this. First of all, for those who have not received this gift of good gifts giving us the channel to our service in the spiritual world. It's called Swarup. My own for it's kind of a third of the three initiations that we would have received. <coughs> First, we are connecting with the Harina, we get the Mala, we get the Mala. We feel part of the spiritual family, our brothers and sisters. Then comes second initiation. We get Diksha Mantra. And then there is this initiation into the spiritual body. Like Gurudev is giving us by the mercy of Sri Radhika, a channel to her by meditating on his given, his received, you know, he has received this from Radhika. How our dress, our name, and our name, and services. So these are what we can get, what we can receive, <coughs> and the mercy that comes in different forms at different times, according to our desires and as the Guru's willingness to see when the soul is ready or eager to connect. And he always, Guru says, asking Radhika. I'm asking Radhika, I have to ask Radhika. It's not my decision. Mm. So one devotee was in a special blockage, in a blockage. And they said, I have a problem, Guru. Yes. But I don't like the service you have given to me. Mm. What? Mm. Yeah, what you have given to me in my spiritual body, my, I don't like to do it here in this material sadaka. Mm. And then Guru said, What is this service? Yeah, I'm making the bed. <coughs> But I like, I don't like to make a bed here in this world. I just don't like it. So when I don't like it, or if I connect it like this in my mind, then I will never meditate on it, right? Mm. So there's like a gap. It's like some missing point. Then first of all, who did clear, make clear that, uh, is this my problem? Or is this your ego? <coughs> you know, what is the what is the reason? Do you think I did something wrong by giving you this? Or are you just, you know, being in your false understanding? I think it is a very important point because we have this tendency. We we judge in a way that we cannot accept. It's about this acceptance. And this happens to us because we are the, you know, beginners. And we have not accepted. And then Guru was clarifying that the concepts we have 
of things that we are doing here is not what they are there. He says, for example, to make the bed for Radha Mohan means to give them comfort, to make a lovely situation, to prepare an atmosphere of love. So if, if, if we can embrace this on a broader level of feeling, what Gurudev has been given to me, or will give to me, it will be a completely different picture to understand. And then it will be like Rupa Goswami said, and like Goranga Sundara was beautifully explaining, we are accepting it, and during the day we are meditating on how everything I do is within this feeling of doing my services to Radha Mohan. And then it's not a bad, like a bad, bad. Mm-hmm. It becomes a preparation for love services. <laughs> and like for example, if we have guests in our house and we invite them, we also make a nice room, we make it clean, we put some incense or some flowers. It's all connected to this service. And this is a very intimate service. So yes, we need to, these eyes are so dark, we need to be open our eyes in every moment and also beg for it. So this devotee was so grand, thankful because something has changed in the heart now. I just not judge it, I just not neglect it. I accept it. Gurudev has given me such a great chance. And then he said, like Rupa Goswami said, when this acceptance comes and this meditation is starting to be more activated, let's say, then seva sadaka rupena, that we accept the form, we accept the service, and it will become a protection in my life. It will become that chakra, what Rupa Goswami is mentioning. I do things here in my material body, in my consciousness of a human. I am protected by my (coughs) divine service. It becomes something that we can feel. And then Gurudev said, as we are learning how to feel it, every day it becomes more alive. Like uh, our Vrindavaneshwari, she liked to make her children happy. (laughs) That's your service, right? So you know they are the children of Radha Mohan. You make Radha Mohan happy by making the children happy. It's not. You know, there's no, how do you say, cut. There's no difference. It's like it becomes serving Radha Mohan in every child that you want to make a smile on their face, the beautiful cookies. And you are preparing them, they will also maybe later, you know, get to know all these beautiful gifts of spiritual life. And, you know, that is another issue that you are doing it for Radha Mohan, for the pleasure for Gurudev and Radha Mohan. Connected like this, everything we do in this world can become a beautiful thing 
is not separated. It's not, oh, now I'm not in Vrindavan anymore. Mm. Oh, you are in Vrindavan, making these kids <coughs> happy and making them smile and feeding them beautiful cookies that made with love. And, you know, you want to see the happiness. Feel the happiness. <coughs> So these are some details that Gurudev and all our brothers and sisters are helping me to get connected to. And it all starts with the Maha Mantra. Mm -hmm. Because in that Maha Mantra is all <coughs> spiritual worlds, it's all Radha Mohan's pleasure, it's the forest of Vrindavan. <coughs> And it's my service also. And later on, as we are on our spiritual uh, journey, like Buddha said, and we accept with our hearts, then all the details will unfold. Um, everything starting from zero. Zero Sadhya Kalipen. Seva brings, like you said, to the chakra. So activity is something which helps us to identify now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even in material world, mm -hmm. persons say, I'm policeman, I'm doctor. Yeah. I'm identified with my work. I cannot live without work. I have to do something always because I'm taking shelter it brings me health, brings me consciousness, bright mind. I feel valuable. I, I feel valuable. So work is a karma. If we are doing for ourselves. But here we can see also seva is activity. Which helps devotee to take shelter of this kind of activity, spiritual, selfless activity. I cannot live without self. I cannot live if I don't do this. So, the same moment. And we can see from the examples of, some of our acharyas actually. They have some seva and sometimes they, they got some illness, they become sick, very sick. And they couldn't do their seva, they couldn't finish their seva. So they prayed, please, please give me strength. Give me strength to finish my seva to finish my writings, to finish this puja, to finish this chanting. Because this is my life. I identify with this seva. And Manjaris Radhika's needs servants are seva rupaya. They are completely depend on this seva, this activity of devotional service for the pleasure of God. This is shelter. This is umbrella. And we should <clears throat> have a faith that this kind of shelter can give us everything what we need. <coughs> everything what we need will be supplied. Because we are eager to do the same. And we're taking the shelter of the same. So many devotees, they have realization that whatever they need, even for their life, it will be supplied automatically. It's just a small endeavor. But because they are so eager to do the same. So, Seva is the shelter. 